from Tantra Foundation, we are here with Vikram Dham and we are in front of the Kashmir's last surviving central maker, Zaz Shah. We have taken his interview and today in this uh, Kashmir chromosome, we are talking about a culture which is beyond any language and boundaries. Music doesn't have a language in that sense. So you said that you haven't been to Kashmir, but you have been associated with the culture for a long period of time and doing music for such a long period of time with maestros, uh, you know how this, uh, you know, overlapping takes place. So if of you course, just... Uh, Kashmir is a, is a brilliant place with a fascinating culture. I have many friends who are musicians from Kashmir, singers, uh, players, uh, instrument players, many of them. Uh, I worked recently in a film where we had uh, three Kashmiris who were uh, who are musicians, and we spent uh, a good month with with together. And I think you know, uh, it's such a beautiful land, great culture, fantastic food. Fantastic food is. Uh, I have many Kashmiri friends here who have often asked me to come and eat uh, at their house. So it's hospitality. wonderful hospitality and uh, I think we have to open our minds uh, now to Kashmir and to Kashmir's what Kashmir has to offer and what we can offer Kashmir. So when that cross-pollination takes place further, I think it will be great for both Kashmir and for us uh, in our uh, greater knowledge of this beautiful part of our country. Yes. And also, what do you think about this whole endeavor, like this whole exhibit? What's your thought on that? I think it's superb. It's each and every exhibit is beautiful. The pictures speak volumes and um, really impressed with the kind of uh, curation. Uh, curation and uh, Kontya and is there. these individuals are physically present. So all of them are physically present here. I think that's, that's quite an achievement to have them all here. And it definitely gives a, a huge uh, boost to to the, the whole Kashmir uh, endeavor, you know, which, which they're trying to uh, awaken. So, yes, I'm totally uh, floored. I think uh, this is a fantastic uh, effort. And what do you think about the Santur? I have known the Santur all my life, being a tabla player. And Pandit Shiv Kumar Sharma was uh, very close to my father. In fact, they debuted together. I still have a photo of them playing together from 1952. And uh, I have played with uh, Padiji with Shifkumar Sharmaji several occasions and I am very close with his son Rahul. So yes, uh, learning about his instrument maker is, uh, is, is very special for me. And I think the Santur was brought into the firmament of Indian classical music by Pandiji, Shifkumar Sharmaji. And uh, uh, Saaz Saab has obviously contributed a lot because he the instrument underwent a transformation from being a folk instrument to being a classical instrument. That's what he so was saying. That is, that is, that was, that had happened through Pandit Shivkumar Sharma and obviously with uh, the the support, the, uh, the instrumental support of uh, Saad Saab. Uh, otherwise, it wouldn't have uh, got all those additional strings and all that is needed to play a full classical concert. You know. Yes. So this is uh, these are great people and it's it's uh, history right here. Yes. And also and bringing in it internationally to a lot of wider audience, like the instrument of Santur. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I mean, uh, Santur is now a global uh, uh, instrument and uh, it's of course the counterpart, the Indian counterpart to the dulcimer. You know? And uh, the dulcimer is very well known also. But I think the Santur, the way Shivji created the classical path, it is a, a monster instrument, you know, now, because it's, it's it, what it can do, the Indian Santur, I don't know how far it can be uh, equaled by other cultures, you know. At this point, it's, it's just brilliant what they do with the Santur. So, one quick question before we uh, end this. Any new musical project uh, which you have in mind, which has, uh, you know, because you have been always working with international artists yes. all the time. So is, is there anything new, some, uh, uh, you know, something which is humming there in are, your mind? Uh, there are many projects going yes. on. Right now I'm doing an album which is tentatively titled The Best of India. Okay. And it has the best artists of India. There's uh, Rakesh Chaurasia on flute. There's uh, Rajesh Vaidya on veena. Yes. There's many top artists. Uh, so this is the current uh, occupation of the mind and the heart. But there's also a lot of movies going on, and uh, this is the new Peluda film which I've done, and 
a bunch of others, a band of Maharajas, which is the movie I was talking yes, about. Yeah. Uh, I'm working on the background now. So yes, uh, there are so many uh, instruments that are there and uh, including, uh, you know, some of the instruments are, are, are seen often in the Kashmir firmament, like the Oud, the Saz, yes. you know, you can see those instruments there. And, uh, I'm working with those instruments currently. Folk instruments, mainly. You're folk, totally uh, they, are, they are folk, but uh, you can, like the rabab, you can play rabab, yeah. classically yeah, also. Yeah. But uh, yeah, primarily folk. Thank, Thank you. you so Bye -bye. Thank you so much. It was wonderful yeah. interacting Pleasure. with you. And Thank you. It, was, it is a wonderful exhibit, and we are happy to have him here. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you.